Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Happy Sunday. Um, tomorrow, the kids start school, and I thought a fun weekly post would be some of the snacks that I'm packing, well, not snacks, the lunch that I'm packing Jackson. Um, <clears throat> this isn't everything, but this is a few things that I thought I would go over um, with you. Trying to make Jackson enjoy healthy alternatives to food is like pulling teeth it's really hard and I'm making the switches little by little um, we can start off with the bread um, I cannot get Jackson to eat whole grain bread yet um, I can get him to eat pumpernickel but right now what we're serving up is the white wheat and it's a healthy white there's no artificial preservatives colors flavors and no high fructose corn syrup in it um, let's see it's 120 calories for two slices so not too bad and what I'll be serving up on this is um, ham and cheese turkey and cheese and chicken and cheese so I didn't get all the lunch meat out I should have maybe but it's just from the deli um, another healthy snack I've included are these five grain peanut butter um, sandwich cookies crackers sorry um, they're individually wrapped and um, yeah healthy alternative not so healthy are these Ritz crackers and cheese dips um, I thought maybe if he had snack or something these might come in handy I'm going to start working on finding the um, healthy version of these but we I went ahead and got them for him the healthy version cookie I got him are these Who Knew Nutritional Rich Chocolate Chip Cookies. These are soft and chewy, and they have as much fiber as a bowl of oatmeal, as much calcium as a, and vitamin D as an 8-ounce glass of milk, and as much vitamin C as a cup of blueberries. So, I'll be putting these in for lunch. Um... Again, potato chips is a hard thing. I want to go with baked Lay's, but he wouldn't have it, and I I went ahead and got him these sour cream and cheddar ripples. Not too happy about this, but this is another thing that will change. Um, okay, so um, fruit-wise, I got him some of these fruit cups of mandarin oranges. I really probably won't do this anymore I, I have a big jar of these and I'll probably to start putting them in his lunch blocks um, and doing it that way um, he is a big fan of cottage cheese and so I found these and I thought that you know individual I thought that was really handy um, sugar-free and I have a whole box of these in the in the pantry um, pudding which you know not too much sugar for drinks I'm going with I love these these little horizon organic chocolate and I have more of these in the fridge I just got out of three the vanilla chocolate and strawberry milks they have the straw on the back super handy super healthy and that's what we're going with with that we also got some apple juice I got two of those in the fridge getting cold right now I think stuff like this, the sliced apples and yogurt, are perfect. Um, you could do your own yogurt. Um, I have a really big box of peanuts because Jackson loves those. Um, bananas and grapes um, are in the fridge. And, um, yeah, healthy fruit. Um, another thing for breakfast. Um, this week I'm going to be serving up um, this all-natural organic Swaggerty's sausage I'm just going to fry a few each night and be able to put them in the microwave in the morning and warm them up um, which is a great tip to get stuff ready the night before so um, basically this is about a week's worth of sausage for Jackson I don't really anticipate Scott eating a lot and I definitely won't be eating breakfast so this is basically Jackson's and I also got some more smoothies here's the mango a go a go and the razzmatazz and those would be great additions to breakfast too um, they have antioxidants in it and calcium and vitamins and um, then you add apple juice and bam you're done so and I use the organic apple juice to put in them and um, they taste amazing if you didn't see my review on this one I'll link it in the po in the comments below and you should check it out because this is one of the best smoothies I've ever had I haven't had this one yet and I will do a review on that 
So, um, like I said, it's going to be ham and cheese, chicken and cheese, and turkey and cheese for lunches this week. And I will start getting more into packing lunches, but I just wanted to do something relatively easy and something that I know he'll eat for the first week before making any really big changes. Um, he drinks the organic milk with no problem. He likes it, actually. Um apple juice is good for him even though i don't like it having sugar and i couldn't find these bite size in organic apple juice and i do think apple juice is best in organic form without um the apples having all the pesticides on them whenever they process them for the juice but i could use a little thermos i suppose but i'm not really doing that at least not this week um but this is for this week and um i have his little let me get it See if I can get it without knocking it over. I have his little lunch block set right here. And that holds a sandwich, a medium container, and two small. And we also have this one, um, which has dividers in it. You can see more about these on my um, lunch blocks review. Let me open it. And you have dividers. So very handy, and they will fit into his little lunchbox great. So this is what we will be serving up this week for lunches. Um, I will start doing soups and stews and, and heating stuff up and SpaghettiOs and that kind of stuff. But it's about making changes subtly. I cannot win the battle on every single thing um, organic and healthy at one time. I have to do it little by little and incorporate it in. Um, my family had nothing to do with organic milk. They wanted nothing at all to do with it. So I fooled them. I bought regular milk and after that was drank up, I poured in the organic milk right into the same milk container. And after they got used to it, about two or three weeks worth, um, they went right into they you know i could start bringing it around once they realized what they were drinking and now that it wasn't so bad so little tricks like that also help um the bread's a really big issue for me but i'm going to be definitely um changing that and finding some more natural um cheese and crackers but anyway thank you for watching if you would like um to link up i would love to see what you're serving in your house this week for school lunches let me know and i'll do a further um, in-depth post about this later thanks for watching have a great school year bye bye